Christmas coffee pot. It was nearly Christmas, and Marion, the railway steam shovel, was working on Thomas's branch line. Oh, Christmas is such a magical time of the year. Who knows what I might dig up? <laughs> Tinsel and Christmas lights or fairy presents. Marion had been sent to clear a disused siding to make room for a new warehouse. to deliver. about Marion. Do you think Marion really saw a talking Christmas tree? I don't know, but she is funny. I know you all think I imagined my talking Christmas tree, but I've come to see someone who I know will listen to me, the Fat Controller. Maybe Marion really did find something. Thomas's next train wasn't due for a while, so he decided to go and see for himself. His driver and fireman cleared away the branches, and suddenly, Thomas saw what Marion had found. Oh, you're the coffee pot engine I replaced all those years ago. But you were on a siding near Farquhar Station last time I saw you. I was shunted here, there, and everywhere before everyone finally forgot about me. I'm sorry I forgot you. <sighs> Glenn. My name's Glenn. And you're Thomas, aren't you? How are you doing with my old branch line? <laughs> Fine, thank you, Glyn. Oh, yes. Being useful always makes an engine feel good. Percy, meet Marion's talking Christmas tree. This is Glyn, the coffee pot engine who used to run my branch line. Nice to meet you, Glyn. Guess what, Thomas? Marion's bringing the fat controller here right now. Oh, dear. Once he sees I'm in the way on these sidings, then they'll have to move me again. Oh, to the scrapyard, I expect. No, no! He can't! 
suppose this means your magic tree can walk as well as talk, Marion. Oh, yes. You're right, sir. It must be the most magical Christmas tree ever. Phew. Oh, I think we moved you just in time, Glyn. He's gone. You'll be safe now. Thank you both. But you don't have to do this. Fat controller will find me eventually, and then. Oh. You think Glyn will really be scrapped when the fat controller finds him? I hope not. But how useful can an engine as old as Glyn be? Well, Stephen's even older than Glyn, and he's still working up at Olstead Castle. Percy, you're. Brilliant! I am. The next morning, Thomas came back to find Glyn again, and he brought someone with him. Oh, Thomas, you were right. This is a very special engine indeed. The Earl quickly arranged for Glyn to be taken to the Sodor Steamworks to be restored. And there was trouble. Hello, Thomas. <gasps> it's him. Oh, no. Oh, dear. How did you know we were here, sir? Oh, because the Earl kindly called to ask my permission to have Glyn restored. And I must say, I think it's a marvellous idea. I'm only sorry I didn't think of it myself. <gasps> So you're not going to scrap Mr. Coffee Pot after all? Oh, of course not, Percy. And when you're fully restored and ready, Glyn, I hope you'll be happy to take me to the Earl's Christmas party. <gasps> of course, sir. It'll be just like old times. So on Christmas Eve, Glyn took the fat controller up to Ulfstead Castle. I must say, Glyn. You look as splendid as the day I built you. Thank you, sir. I feel it. Oh, there she is. That's the engine who found me. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you again. Oh, it's you. I didn't recognize you with all those decorations. I thought you disappeared. But I suppose you had to come here all along. You being a Christmas tree and all, and you look more magical than ever now with all those lovely Christmas lights. Welcome to Ulfstead Castle, Glyn. And thank you, Thomas, for rescuing our Christmas coffee pot. Another engine working here at the castle is the best present I could have wished for. Merry Christmas. One and all. Merry Christmas!